All right, we're over here checking into our new uh, new hotel for the uh, last portion of our trip here. And uh, in the background, I've got um, our armed security here. Uh, uh, the majority of the folks over here, they've got they've got um, AK-47s, man, side arms. Those are the Nigerian police. Uh, now we need to have security take us in and out of certain places um, because of just I guess our profile is really what it boils down to. Now, uh, specifically when you're going off into the bush and things like that, and there's uh, there's groups, there's people that um, you know, let's call it what it is. They kidnap people. Okay, that's what they do is they come out and they uh, you know look for ransom money is really what they're doing. So you're thinking about stuff like that. You can't help but appreciate the fact that we've got a Second Amendment in America. Okay, me. It was my choice. I'd carry everywhere that I was legally able to. And I, and I do, for the most part, okay? I'm not making this a big political post, but understand that when you are out doing mission work and you're in the middle of the bush and guys come in with machine guns and they want what you've got, which is your people, okay? And you don't have a sidearm or you don't have armed security or anything else like that to protect you, what are you going to do? So be thankful for the position that we are in over here in the States and understand that if you've got rights that you want to protect, you better stand up and protect them because the criminals got guns and the military's got guns. The regular citizens, they don't have guns over here. How are you going to protect yourself? You're going to take off your belt, hit them with the buckle, you use your fists. It's only so effective against a 762 round.